Hello and welcome to another edition of From the Archives, Your Ancestor. Today's request comes from Linda, who is researching her grandfather, Thomas William Metcalf of Salford City Police. If you've seen our earlier videos, you'll know the Salford appointment records are a gold mine of information, and this one is no exception. In addition to the record, we also have some images kindly supplied by Linda and her family to help illustrate some of the notes. So let's begin. We have two photos of Thomas here on the right hand side showing him as a new recruit in uniform and a later picture in plain clothes. This makes sense as his records show him moving to the detectives department where they wouldn't have worn a uniform, hence the suit. Thomas was a local man born in Salford in 1896. He stood at five foot 11 tall with a fresh complexion, blue eyes and fair hair. He was married when he joined the force in 1919 as Constable 270 after serving in the Rifle Brigade for the duration of the First World War and was a labourer before that. The section referring to his marks is very interesting. Along with having a tattooed bird and horseshoe on his forearms, the records show GSW on his right leg. I had originally assumed these were tattooed letters but Linda tells me that Thomas was shot at the Battle of Vimy Ridge in 1917, so GSW refers to gunshot wound. We have quite a lot of notes on this record as well. We can see he completed a detective sergeant's course at Wakefield in 1939 and received the King George Coronation Medal in 1937, which Linda still has. He was appointed as a temporary inspector in 1941, but it can't have been that temporary as he was still an inspector when he retired in 1946. Underneath we have his dates of promotion, with someone mistakenly bumping him up an extra rank to Chief Inspector before crossing Chief out there in the middle. On the back of the record we have any illnesses or injuries incurred during his service. The writing in black shows an illness, but the red is injury on duty. So we can see he had nine days off due to a broken appendage in 1926. Thomas completed 27 years in the police, collecting his pension aged 50 in 1946. His conduct was recorded as exemplary, the highest possible, and we can see why at the bottom of the page, with no less than seven commendations. December 1924, zeal and efficiency in arresting Herbert Jones Whittle on three charges of false pretenses, commended by the Chief Constable. May 1926, zeal and efficiency displayed in the arrest of James Garton for highway robbery with violence, commended by the Chief Constable. October 1935, smart apprehension of four thieves and recovery of stolen property, commended by Chief Constable. Looks like this one was a group effort, as he was also in the company of Inspector Barnfield and PC Walsh. November 1939, zeal and efficiency displayed in connection with inquiries respecting an explosion at 349 Berry New Road, Broughton, which resulted in the arrest of a man named John McCabe, and in the manner in which the case was presented at his trial at Manchester Assizes when he was sentenced to penal servitude on charges under the Explosive Substances Act, 1883. Another group effort, sounds like a big case, commended by the Chief. January 1940, zeal and efficiency displayed in effecting the arrest of three men on charges of lead stealing, commended by the Chief Constable. April 1940, zeal and efficiency displayed in conducting inquiries which led to the arrest of three seamen on charges of obtaining cash by false pretenses. January 1941, efficient assistance rendered in the apprehension of seven persons on charges of shop and warehouse breaking and receiving, commended by the Chief Constable. What a career! Thank you again to Linda and family for letting us share Thomas with you and for supplying the additional images used in this video. Remember, if you'd like us to search for your ancestor, you can email us at gmpmuseum at gmail.com. Bye for now.